Hey everyone, Ed here with Michelle of the hey Great everyone. Indoors. How you guys doing? We are here today in Dover, Ohio, outside of Shoney's. This has been one of those places that's been on my bucket list. And then I saw um, Goodell's Country Kitchen, and he was doing a review on one, and I'm like, you know, that sounds like a great idea. We should get out here to Dover and check out the, the Shoney's over here. Are you ready then to get in there? They close. Sure. They um, are open daily until 4 p.m. So we had to hustle to get down here, but I'm I'm really excited. All he right. did 77 miles an hour. Oh yeah. Well, I, we took 77. So I didn't do 77. I don't want to get in trouble with the cops. Okay. Oh, you won't get in All trouble right. because you're. Okay, let's get in there. Like, comment, and subscribe to the Great Indoors. Awesome. They have the breakfast buffet going on right now, and it's going to be switching over in about 30 minutes. Michelle, the buffet is set up for um, breakfast, okay. and in 30 minutes it's going to switch over to dinner. Okay. So I'm going to take video of the breakfast buffet, okay. and then you can decide what you want to do, whether you want to get this or, or whatever, okay? okay? But they have the salad over here. Look at that. Onions, cucumbers, tomatoes, some lettuce. Green peppers, some cheese, and some egg. All right, croutons. This is a really nice setup over here. Potatoes and some gravy, green beans. So we got 30 minutes to get at this. This is pretty cool. All right, looks like some chicken and some apple crisp type thing. Apple and some sausage. We should get this if you want, Michelle. What do you think? Well, Pancakes, yummy. bacon, some French toast. Beautiful. And this, they're going to be switching over to like a, a lunch type thing. So, I don't know, man. I, I'm hungry. I'm willing to get this right now. We got, they got the, the custards and the whipped cream. And some pasta. And some coleslaw and some potato salad. And this is the other part of the buffet that's got the hash browns and some biscuits and some country gravy, ham. And some, like, that looks like French toast sticks. Yeah, it is. Oh, and some scrambled eggs. Sorry, young man. That's quite all right. <laughs> I have never been here before, so this is like a treat to be here, I know. Yeah. All right. So it's really up to you, Michelle. If you want to go ahead and get this, we can get this, or do you want to wait? Okay. My dinner? I'm, it's that. It's like a lunch, okay. more than a, it's a dinner. Then. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now, you, is that off the buffet, Michelle, or did you order that off the menu? Because I guess we're getting the buffet now. Okay. <laughs> you got a cheese bowl. What is that now? Homemade potato soup that they just put out. Okay. Well, she kind of like answered the question for me before. I mean, they do have a menu that has, you know, sliders, Sony sliders, Sony, Sony wings, spinach and artichoke dip. This Ooh. is a very, very fast menu over here. And there's the Bee Gees in the background. So I'm going to have to put some music over all that. And um, a mushroom Swiss burger, all American burger. There's a whole other side with the breakfast over here. And the prices are very reasonable here. You got the prices ranging from, you know what, 12, that's very, I don't have my glasses on, but the mushroom Swiss chicken is $12. And um, look at that, the bacon cheeseburger is $10 and change. So you, they're very fairly priced, wouldn't you say, Michelle? Oh yeah, they have a good dessert here. Yeah. Like Eliza Brothers. Worm. Uh, it's a world famous hot oh, fudge cake. I got it right here. Shoney's world famous hot fudge cake. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to have to walk back home. All right. All right. Plate number one, man. I went with some pancakes, sausage, gravy, and biscuits. Some bacon over there. And some scrambled eggs. And Michelle pretty much copied me with some bacon 
Okay, what can I get for you guys to drink? Do you have Pepsi or Coke or something? Coke. Oh, beautiful. I love that, right? Okay. We'll be here every weekend. Oh, yeah. Cokes? No, um, water, please. Water for you? Okay. All right. You guys don't know how I love my Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. I'm already... Oh, man. Well, there's other than breakfast on there. It's almost like a brunch type of thing. All right. And the eggs are warm. They're not... Very hot. I mean, they're, they're warm. They're not hot. I mean, they are hot. Sorry. I'm saying one thing and meaning something else. Sausage gravy. You got sidetracked because you heard Coca-Cola. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love that sausage gravy. It goes well on the... I like putting it on the scrambled egg. Oh, yeah. Now let's try the... The, the pancake. I put a little bit of maple syrup on there. You got a pancake too, Michelle? Mm -hmm. There you go. Let's get that. There we go. Got it. Mm. I make good pancakes, and this is right up there with my. I'm, I'm right. Don't I do a good job with the pancakes, Michelle? Breakfast is your thing. Mm -hmm. That's really good. It hits the mark. We're driving, starving, you know, starving Marvin, $13.95 for the breakfast buffet. Let's try this bacon. What is, is the bacon the way you like it? Nice and crispy? I think he's had a die for me for this one. Oh, yeah. You gotta love the bacon here, too. We came here just the right, just in the nick of time. Because in a half an hour, they're gonna shut down. The breakfast and make it more like a, another cheese bowl. Wow. It goes in the mouth, not all over the place, Michelle. <laughs> it's a hot spoon. Yeah, I'm pretty excited right now, Michelle, because I just told our server that we're going to stick around for the lunch buffet also. So it's another a dollar instead of 13 and it'll be $14.95. So we'll be able to show you guys not only the breakfast, but the lunch buffet as well. And that, I think that's a pretty pretty good deal, man. I'm, a dollar and, more, and, it's cheaper than the And my Coca-Cola just showed up, so I'm pretty psyched. Ooh, I'm excited too. I got and, my water. Yeah, you got your old, you know, why didn't you get your unsweet iced tea? I, I mean, I bet you they do a good job with that, Michelle. Well, I know they do, probably. Yeah. And I'm getting ready to go back for some more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got more breakfast. Look at that. French toast. Look at that. What is that? Like a what is this? A straw? Topping. Is that raspberry or, or, or it looks like cherries? Cherries? Oh, it's just soaked with that. Look at that. <laughs> You're not gonna go for some of that, Michelle? Come on. We have to jog home. And this is those French toast sticks. Put some maple syrup on that. Look at how it's just, oh yes. Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah. It is good. It's like glistening with that maple syrup. I'm gonna do this. To the sausage. Get that onto the maple syrup like that. Mix it really good. Ooh, look at that. Oh. You gotta try that. That was good. I can do the same thing with the ham. Mm. Oh, right there. Ham and maple. Maple ham. There you go. Hmm. Now let's try this. Go like that, like that, and and like that. How about that? Like a French toast stick, sausage, ham concoction. <laughs> wow! Excellent. Okay, Michelle's second plate is up. And you got like a little bit of like a, almost like an omelet without an omelet. Right, uh, scrambled eggs, mushrooms, green peppers, and some cheese. 
and some French toast. What did you put on your French toast? That looks interesting. It's butter. Oh, that's butter? I thought that was like a cheese or something like that. No, I, no. Okay. It's parquet. parquet. All right. I made a concoction over here, Michelle. I put ham, sausage, okay. and French toast all in one bite. Like that. It, boy, that worked. I'm going to do that one right there. Just like that. you got to be creative when you're at a buffet. You know, sometimes you just got to kick it up a little bit, right? Wow. The sausage is really good too, by the way. That's good to hear. They're bringing the food out over here. As we... We're just going to be patient, Michelle. I have nowhere to go until Tuesday morning. I was researching uh, Dover back in 1940. This was a big area to develop uh, weapons for uh, World War II. They converted a lot of the steel factories into you know, places to make shells for World War II. Right. And the population through here was like around, what, 9,000? And today it's around a little under 13,000. And the population really never really grew too much more than 15,000 and didn't really get much lower than nine. So it's been a pretty steady population through here. People that live here probably stayed here, you know? It's a nice community. It's small. And, yeah. and, and it has a Shoney's. <laughs> yeah. But you learn a lot when you're researching for videos. I'm always trying to find out little things about the places and stuff like that. Like uh, back in 1943, there was a plane crash in the downtown area. They were uh, going to distribute flyers to bu buy war bonds. And uh, the plane was going to... The guy was only going very... It was like a little small uh, plane and it had engine problems and they ended up crashing on Walnut Street and get this Michelle 30 gallons of gasoline were spilled all around the wreckage and all these people were this is walking around with cigarettes looking at the, the accident everyone could have blown up because they didn't realize how dangerous it was oh, yeah. with that but this that could have been very tragic worse than the three people that died mm -hmm. you know but you learn a lot when you're in an area like this okay Anyway, I can't wait until the next phase of the buffet comes oh, out. Oh, I think everybody's ready. Yeah. Look at this, a line for a little. Oh, yeah. They know what the good food, where to get it. Shoney's here in Dover, Ohio. Oh, I O. Okay, this is the next phase of the buffet. Mashed potatoes, gravy, and they still have some of that country gravy. I would like to see what country gravy would taste like on mashed potatoes. You know, go for it. And then they have the meatloaf with the, like it looks like um, ketchup or, or barbecue sauce on there. And Michelle's gonna be happy. She's got her green beans. It looks like there's some bacon in that. And you got your veggies over here with the corn and the carrots. And that looks like uh, some beans. Oh yeah, mac and cheese, Michelle. Mac and cheese alert. Or uh, cheese bowls. And some fresh chicken tenders. Speaking of chicken, they got breaded chicken right over there. Very nice. And it looks like a rotini with broccoli and alfredo sauce. And some uh, baked potatoes over there. And this is the uh, baked chicken. That looks really good. Again, this all just came out. Some more beanage over there. And that looks like jalapenos is in there, so if you want hot, you're gonna get hot over there. With some cabbage. And listen to the song. Oh yeah. There you go. Good job, Michelle. You're gonna lose your food though. Be careful. Okay. Awesome. Okay, I followed through on my promise. I put that sausage gravy on my mashed potatoes. And guess what? So did Michelle over here. And we didn't even tell each other to do that. She just went on her own. So we are meant for each other, okay? Yeah, so I could still have that 2020 vision. Yeah. So you got the carrots and you got the, the baked chicken, mm -hmm. non breaded, and some of that uh, meatloaf. Meatloaf. Carrots. And I ended up going with the um, Alfredo with broccoli. And is that rotini over there? And yeah. the, the chicken leg over there. I want to try get your reaction of that chicken with the sausage gravy. 
Oh, mashed potatoes? Or, yeah, the mashed potatoes. Hello. <laughs> Doctor in my eyes. <laughs> okay. Mashed potatoes and country gravy. Does that work? Mm-hmm. Oh, right. you're going to love it. I'm, you're going to love these mashed potatoes. You thought mine were really good. Oh, my God. Let's get a good... Go right in there like that. Okay. Wow. That is good. Wow. I, I, I got to do another one of that. Right there. Oh. That works. I'm never going to get regular beef gravy again. I'm going to go with country gravy from now on. And let's try some of that broccoli. And there's actually chicken in there too. I didn't see that. Look at that. Highly recommend the beef chicken too. Everything is nice and fresh and cooked very well. Oh yeah. That is good. Oh yeah. Okay, I stand corrected. I I thought that was chicken tenders. It's actually fish. It's swai. And I don't know, S-W-I, something like that. But i never heard of it before, but it looks good. I'm just going to grab it with my fingers and go. There's some tartar sauce there. You're going to be the, I'll be the guinea pig for you, right, Michelle? Guinea pig. All right. What? <laughs> What's good? Are we moving to Dover? Very light. It's not very fishy. If you're a person that doesn't like very fishy fish, then this is the fish for you. I bet you you're doing your fish imitation, Michelle. <laughs> some coleslaw. Mm -hmm. Our friend Candace and Mike are underway. And when they heard we were coming here, they wanted to come here too. So we get why don't you guys come out here too, man? This is really a good place. Once you if you ever get your way out to this area, Dover is in Amish country. Very good food here. It's not that far from uh, Sugar Creek, you know? In that same area, so if you're going to Sugar Creek, why not stop at Sony's? Buffet is awesome. Yeah, I definitely am running out of steam here. This will be probably my final plate. I wanted to give the uh, meatloaf a try. And Michelle's loves her. Did you get any of the green beans yet, Michelle? I don't mm -hmm. they, were, they were gone. You want to try some to see how, what you think? Well, thank you. I didn't have to get the iced tea. But dig in and try some of that. Just the way I make them with bacon. Yeah. You could take that bacon over there too if you want. Nope. All right. Oh, they look like me. They're nice and well done. They're I, they're easy to chew. They're very tender. tender, you know. And that bacon goes really well with it. You had your chance to grab that bacon. That's good. Now let's try the. What did you think of the, of the meatloaf last time? With the um, kind of biscuit gravy and mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. that was really good with the carrots. It, the uh, meatloaf, biscuit mm -hmm. gravy, you put that on there too? No, I put it on my mashed potatoes. Oh, okay, all right. It was, it was really nice. All right. I eat. Hold on. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, let's give it a try. Yeah, that works. All right. All right, we'll bring you guys back when we're ready to wrap up the, the video on site, all right? Awesome. I really had a good time. That food was really good. Yeah, what did you think, Michelle? It was outstanding. It was really good, nice and clean and fresh, and, and the food was prepared very good. Oh, yeah. And the people were very friendly in there as well. Our server was very helpful. She's so impressed that she's all choked up about it, you know. But yeah. we're still not done yet. There's, I want to show you where that plane crashed. 
And uh, in fact, uh, the manager here actually knows the story about it. So the video isn't done yet. We're going to go try to show a little bit of Dover and where that plane went down in 1943 that took the lives of three people. You ready okay. to go over there? Yeah, I don't need you to die. All right. With okay. The yeah, it was January 23rd, 1943. Adam Wen uh, Commander Adam Wendling was the pilot. And he was with the Ohio Civil Air Patrol, which is like a, a auxiliary division of the uh, Air Force. And whenever there's someone missing or there's an emergency, the Civil um, Air Patrol is the ones that will look for people that are missing. So they do a huge service for the community. And this is Walnut Street over here. And at some point, the plane was having issues because they could hear him trying to throttle the engine to get it going. But I, I think he was what he was trying to do was land it on this street over here. It clipped one of the trees that was along the way and crashed into a heap somewhere between 2nd and 3rd. This whole area has been changed. But, you know, there was a lot of people still doing a lot of shopping in this area because we are in the downtown area of Dover and everyone started to come around as you know they would nowadays to see what happened and there was like I said before 30 gallons of gasoline spewed all around the place and they're lucky that one of their cigarettes didn't catch fire and blow everyone up you know and there was a theater there's a I think there's a theater right over there that was gonna show um, a John Wayne movie, uh, Flying Tigers or something like that. And um, it was all about, you know, promoting World War II. And whoever uh, bought the war bonds from the plane that they were going to distribute would have gotten free tickets to see the new John Wayne movie. So, what is, what, you know, a, you know, they were trying to do th good things to help a cause and it ended up costing their life. And that's what makes... It, even more of a tragedy with someone they were trying to help out their their country and they end up dying in the process you know a lot of people gave their lives for uh, protecting our freedom and that's just another example of uh, making the ultimate sacrifice but anyway I didn't want to be a Debbie Downer after eating such a good meal at Shoney's but you know when you're uh, out and about and you see things like this I think they need to be brought to our attention because you know it's what shapes who we are and who we're going to be or who we what we want to be as as a country here you know anyway like comment and subscribe to the great indoors and i do appreciate you guys all michelle sitting in the car waiting for me so we better get going over here but hey there's a huntington over here so she could go get some money and buy me dessert <laughs> okay all right see you guys bye